Welcome to day two of Vlogmas. I have been up and at him this morning, took care of animals, got a bunch of work done on the computer, and then I've been sitting there so entirely stressed over the sheer amount of things, work-related, life-related, house-related, that are on my to-do list. And there's so much to do that I, I just don't know where to begin. So I sat there and had a little bit of a panic moment. But I decided I needed to get up, start moving this morning. So, got dressed, got ready, and got my cute little festive shirt on. Love it. And we're about to head out. I need to run to Kroger, and then we're gonna come home so I can drop off the cold groceries. I need to run to the feed store. I've gotta go to Checkers, because I'm doing an ad with Checkers. So I've gotta go pick up something from Checkers, which of course is like 20 minutes away. And then we may go to Dutch Bros while we're on that side of town. I don't know. That just seems like it would bring me some joy. So, lots to do today. Let's go. Just pulled up to Kroger. Let's head inside and grab some groceries. Okay, I need an ugly sweater for an event with the family tomorrow. And here at Kroger, they have a couple of options. So I'm trying to pick one. There is this like vest with a sheep and a rhinestone tree. We've got the cat one with flowers down the sleeves. And there is this llama. I don't know which one to choose. <laughs> I like them all. And they're 60% off. This is a really great deal. 60 Keurig pods for $16.50. And they're the fun candy bar ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking this home with me. That's a great deal. Kroger and got my groceries unloaded. I needed stuff for the recipes I'm filming today. But while I was there, this is the ugly Christmas sweater I settled on. The little llama in the back of a truck. How fresh. I got this one because it was the only small sweater they had available. The rest were just too large. They were made very oversized. And so this one just fit me the best. I tried them all on right there in the store. But Got this for the little Christmas thing we're doing tomorrow. And then apparently it was National Candle Day, so they had these candles on sale for like $6.99. And I'm a sucker for a coffee smelling candle. And this Cafe Au Lait, so good, so good. So I got that. But now I am about to make myself some lunch before I head back out to run to a couple more places. What I'm gonna cook myself is I have two of these mini plain bagels. And then at Kroger, I picked up these. I picked up these oven baked egg bites. They're kind of like the sous vide egg bites from Starbucks. They're just these little bites, but this has been my little favorite quick and easy lunch slash breakfast lately. I'm gonna pop these suckers in the microwave for a minute. And now I stick everything in my toaster oven to toast. And then it comes out nice and crispy. When I pull it out of the toaster oven, it is all crispy and toasty. I like to do a little salt on top of the egg bites. And a little black pepper. Or a lot of black pepper because that came out <laughs> really fast. And I do a little bit of this spicy mayo for a little sauce. It's 12 o'clock, so I guess this is considered my lunch, but don't these look so good? It's such a quick and simple meal. You just buy the pre-made egg bites, toasty up the little mini bagels, and you have a delicious little lunch. I also have some raspberries that I washed. So I am about to scarf this down and then we're heading out the door to the feed store. All right, y'all, I am fed, and now it's time to continue on with our errands. We gotta go feed store, checkers, and then I think we're gonna go to Dutch Bros because that just sounds like fun. Stop by Texas Feed Stop to grab my expensive chicken feed. These chickens are eating me out of house and home. I also grabbed these little pans to feed them in, especially my sick ones. I like to have these little pans where I can put their food in it and then they can't waste it by scratching it everywhere because it's got high sides. 
made it over to Checkers, so now I need to go order an absurd amount of buffalo chicken tenders for my recipe. Pulling up to Dutch Bros, and there is like no line. I am so excited right now. It's Dutch Bros time. I'm so excited. There is always a line, and I'm the only person in line. We're going for this candy cane cold brew right here. Hi. What can I get for you? Can I do a medium candy cane cold brew? Yeah, medium but, ice candy cane cold brew. But can I have it made with the sugar-free syrups? Yeah. First things first, I went to Checkers and got a very large amount of chicken strips. I wasn't sure exactly how many I needed for my recipe, but it probably was not this many. I also ended up with multiple things of fries because I waited for so long for them to cook these tenders. I don't need two large fries sitting next to me. And fun fact, I've never had Checkers fries and these are actually some dang good fries. They're very good, but I don't need to eat more than a couple. I don't need to eat any at all, but they gave them to me. So I had to try them at least. And then I went to Dutch Bros and I was the only car in line. That never happens. There is always a line at Dutch Bros. So for me to be able to pull right up to the window, it's my lucky day. But anyways, I got a medium candy cane cold brew with sugar-free syrups, which when I was reading online, the normal one made their way with the non-sugar-free syrups. It's 270 calories for the normal one. So when you add the sugar-free syrups into it, it about halves the calories. So rough estimate, 150 calories in here. A little fun thing I have is this snowman Java sock and you can slide your drink into it and it keeps it nice and cool and the drink doesn't sweat into your cup holder. Isn't that so cute? I love it. Let's give this a taste test. Mm, oh my golly. <laughs> that is good. I think they use chocolate milk instead of creamer in the coffee. So it's kind of like a peppermint chocolate. That is very good. Oh my golly, that makes me so happy. I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, time to go back home. I got a lot of work to do. Let's give the sick boys some containers of food. So this guy is on day five of his antibiotic treatment and this one, I just caught him this morning. So it's not really fun, but I had initially done an antibiotic treatment through their water and everyone else got better, but apparently these two had a more severe infection. So, they have to get oral antibiotics. I can't tell you that it's fun to shove antibiotics down their throat, but they're a lot more potent and, sir, and it clears up the infection. So this guy is an absolute lunatic. So we gotta be careful and slide this food bowl in there for him. Can you not be stupid? So that is what we're dealing with out here is roosters that I don't even need. These roosters need to find a new home. But I take care of them because I have a heart and love them and don't want anything bad to happen to them even though I don't need 18 roosters. What are you doing up there, sir? Why are you on top of the chicken coop? Apparently they're just perching on top of the chicken coop now. Sir! Your claws are gonna put holes in my probably dry rotted tarp. Good golly. All right, y'all buckle up for a quick story time. So a couple weeks back, I sold a lady some hatching eggs from my Sarama chickens outside, my little chickens. Well, she ended up hatching out four and a couple of days after they were born, 
they passed away. All four of them passed away at once overnight and most likely that was due to a heater malfunction and I felt really bad about that and so I was like, you know what? I've been a little lazy at collecting eggs and I have some broody hens in there that have been sitting on them for a couple of days. Just take a couple of days, get ready, and you can just have these like half cooked eggs, put them in your incubator, and you'll get chicks in like a week and a half versus three weeks because they're already half baked. Well, we had plans to meet up with her at six o'clock tonight. I was gonna give her these eggs that I had collected from my hens that were halfway incubated. Well, I was just sitting on the couch in the peace and quiet and I started hearing peeping. I was like, that sounds eerily like a baby chick. Now I do have baby chicks in my office, but those are four weeks old or so. They don't sound like that. And then it hit me. I have peeping in the incubator because I had pulled the eggs from my hens and stuck them in the incubator so I could just box them up and give them to her. Apparently I've been lazier at collecting eggs than I thought. And there's definitely a chick in there that is going to be hatching in the next 24 to 48 hours. A little too late to transfer these eggs to the lady who wanted them. So, I guess I'm hatching baby chicks. I told the lady, I was like, I don't want any money for them. Just, I was going to throw these away or they were going to get eaten either way. I will leave them in my incubator and hatch these babies for you. Then I get to do the fun part. I get to see the little babies be born. That is my favorite thing in the world. So we're going to have some baby chicks for Vlogmas. Um, but I was like, you're taking every one that hatches. I don't need any of these things. <laughs> we made that deal. She can have all of them for free, but I get to have fun hatching them. So I am about to go set up my incubator and get it ready for baby chicks to hatch because someone's going to be hatching real soon if I'm hearing peeping in there. 23 little babies ready to be hatched. Literally had no plans. You hear them peeping? Oh, that's so cool. All right, let me get the lid back on. And we got babies ready to go. Being fully transparent right now, I do not feel like being creative and filming an ad. I also don't feel like filming a recipe video. I really just want to sit on the couch and do nothing. But that's not in the cards. So... I'm going to step away from thinking about a video for a minute and I'm going to do something that requires no brain power at all. You want to know what that is? Scooping cat litter boxes. Doesn't that sound fun? Speaking of cat litter boxes, I think I want to find a automatic cat litter box because now with two cats, the litter box situation is getting harder to manage. So if anyone has any electric or robot cat litter box suggestions, let me know. I am open to suggestions because I think that's gonna be my next purchase I save up for. If you're wondering why the litter box is in the shower, well, we've had so little rain that my entire house has shifted, including the shower. So all of the seals on the shower pan have come apart. So there is no using this guest shower anytime soon until I have someone come out here and fix that. And this is very low on my to-do list. I have never showered in here in the three plus years we've lived here. So this is low on the agenda. So it's just becoming the, the cat spot. And it controls the litter a lot better. Do y'all remember a few weeks ago when I drove like an hour in the rain to go pick up four baby chicks to go with my one baby chick that hatched? Well, my one baby chick that I hatched very sadly passed away. I do not know why. And then all four of these adorable little nuggets are roosters. <laughs> Is that not the best look? I have 18 roosters too many already and now I have four more. Okay sir, you're not in your cage anymore. They're very cute little birds and they're very friendly but my golly 
I don't need any more roosters. I had high hopes that this one was gonna be a lady. And then that red comb on its face popped in. So yeah, this gonna be a rooster. They're so cute, but still too many boys. It is now 6.42 and I'm gonna be completely honest, I have been a little unproductive the last little while. Well, unproductive in a sense that I did not get the videos filmed that I had planned today. I'm just tired and I just wanted to sit on the computer. It was an ugly day outside. So I sat on the computer, answered some emails, and just did not get the videos filmed that I was supposed to. It is what it is. I will work on that tomorrow before we go to the event. <laughs> and maybe I will wake up with a renewed sense of energy. Anyways, I'm about to go work on something that is semi-productive because I've got to get the rabbits out of the dang living room and into my office. It's gonna be like a big chain of events that starts rolling once I finally get this project underway. But like I said, until the rabbits are out of here, I don't have a spot for my Christmas tree. So that is the plan for the next couple of days is to start this chain event of things. So basically I have a big shelf in my office. I need to go clear that out. We need to remove the shelf. Then I need to finish clearing out that space where the rabbits are gonna go. We're gonna move the rabbit pin that's in here into my office and then I have an extension panel to make it eight foot by four foot and that's gonna be their new home. And then once the rabbit cage is in there, the couch that's in my dining room can go in front of the window here and then I'll have room for my Christmas tree and then I can get some new cabinets to put in the dining room so I can have some extra storage for all of my kitchen stuff. There is so much to be done <laughs> in so little time. But for now, I'm gonna go start working on my office just a little bit. Don't judge me. This is kind of like where I put all the random stuff that doesn't have a home, but I'm about to make everything find its new home. As I am in here cleaning off my shelf, guess what I found? My diploma for my animal science pre-med degree that I definitely use. Thanks mom and dad for the education. <laughs> but no, I should probably take this to Hobby Lobby and get it framed. I feel like I earned a frame on this and I need to hang it up. I'm going to set that out to do that. Sir, you are going to fall off my desk. What are you doing? What are you doing? What you doing? Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> I just saved your life, sir going real quick and easy with dinner tonight and i'm about to throw these broccoli and cheese stuffed chicken breasts in the toaster oven the new little lady is being very skittish and wouldn't let me get near her so i ended up catching her and i am gonna sit here and force her to love me for a little while this is what i'm eating for dinner i have a caesar salad over here and then one of the broccoli cheese stuffed chickens. Just a simple dinner. All right, y'all, I am working on importing my footage and I'm gonna start editing Vlogmas day two at 9.34 p.m. So I'm about to pop on my treadmill and get my workout in with some editing and exercise. Let's go. Look at that little stretched out bunny booty. You moved, June. What you doing, girl? Hey, girl. Hey, Rudy. Just finished getting the vlog, mostly edited. Walked an hour and 2.79 miles. So not as far today, but still a pretty good workout while I'm working. Hey, kitties, what you doing? This kitty we named Oscar. Mm-hmm. On that note though, it is 1037 and I need to go finish this vlog so I can get it uploading to go up in the morning. So I'm going to close this out here. I hope that you guys enjoyed Vlogmas day two and I will see y'all again tomorrow.